the Abraham legacy, we tried to bring it down to the uh, younger level and to the students. We felt that it's great to be doing Abraham conferences between the uh, Affinity to Cultural Foundation, Jewish Board of Deputies and the Columbus Centre, but we said, why don't we try to take it to the youth? And uh, we identified three schools where there's students uh, from the Muslim, Christian and Jewish tradition coming together and in a similar way coming together uniting under the Abraham legacy and each of us will be or each of the students are trying to get a, gain a better understanding of where each other is coming from and how they all fit into Australia so that uh, hopefully we're all working towards the uh, accepting each other for who they are under the identity of being an Australian. I guess that the same issues happen for teenagers across different cultures and religions and it's not as distinctly different as I thought it might be. No, and we've never, I've never had that type of, I don't know, intimacy or conversation with other people with different beliefs but we found a common ground which I didn't know would be possible. It's really open-minded which makes you think it, like, it takes away the textbook Jew and the textbook Catholic person yeah. and they, they put, it, you put it into a different perspective and it's really interesting, you just have to try it. To, to, if it's an experience, you can't just read it from a paper. Uh, look, I, I think it's been beyond my expectations. I, I'd say uh, I was expecting the boys to, uh, to enjoy the experience and find out some new things, but I've, I've seen them really engaged. They've really... school and it's been amazing you know we've got some some of the rowdy boys for example and they're just um, presenting themselves very well very they're very very proud um, it's amazing what you see uh, and what you hear I think one of the shortcomings is that um, other students are not exposed to it because we can only have a limited number so I'd like to increase that. I think it's very important for Australian culture because we are a multicultural and multi-faith uh, society and particularly in the present climate where there are uh, stereotypes going around particularly through mass media we've got to break those down because otherwise we cannot live in harmony and we cannot enrich this place that once stood for um, camaraderie, for uh, mateship and so forth and in these programs where we can meet um, and discuss and uh, get to know each other uh, is intrinsically important for the society here. I don't see 120 people divided amongst faith. What I see is 120 people who are united by a common, a common love of humanity. This program has given me the chance to broaden my horizons and explore my own religion as well as learning about others. I hope that more events of this kind arise in the future because the knowledge gained here with regards to the other face is just as valuable, if not more so, than what we could have learnt in the class. I thank everybody that took part in this project, King Copple Rose Bay, um, for having us and the organisers for all their efforts, especially Affinity to Cultural Foundation, for helping us in our part. I pray that we have many more activities like this. Thank you all again.
second year, it's, it's doubled in uh, participation in two years. It's very important because our, our children are the future and uh, uh, maintaining uh, interfaith harmony as well as general harmony is one of the great strengths uh, of living in New South Wales, uh, a state which has a rich diversity of cultures, of religions, of, uh, of traditions and uh, it's, it's that diversity that which is our unity, our strength and we have to work very hard to keep uh, our strength and our unity. Uh, there are lots of pressures and, and tensions uh, which uh, can impact on, uh, on that unity and we have to work very hard to maintain that unity.